What is going on everyone and welcome back to Master League PES 2021 episode 3. This is a bit of a highlight package so I am going to be breaking down the series into live kind of live stream-esque uh, videos. I'm going to be doing a couple of live streams as well on YouTube or Twitch. I haven't decided yet. Let me know in the comments below if you'd be interested in that. And I am also going to be doing um, you know, face cam ones as well, but I will be doing these type ones as well to get through a lot of games, um, kind of like the lower side uh, teams or the lower side of the table. Like, So for the big matches, I'm going to take on a role of kind of having the live comp, playing them live, live reactions as Chris Wood tries to do uh, Zlatan there. Uh, but for a lot of the a lot of the matches that are just kind of you know like the lower base teams or the non exciting games that there's nothing really to play for just normal matches as we get off to a brilliant start here against Aston Villa I am going to be doing these highlight packages so a couple of minutes maybe two to three minutes of each match and then a roundup of our position and just get off and wrap off a couple of episodes really quickly just to keep this episode um, or to keep this series flowing so yeah I am still struggling to adapt to PES 2021 what an effort that is I'm seeing a lot of stuff in the AI that I like but a lot of the patterns that they have are very easily stopped so i think with eFootball 2023 at the moment on legend difficulty the ai is kind of a lot more free in how they do it like they do a lot of skills they do a lot of tricks and um, the patterns of attack aren't as predictable but then again i did play a serious amount of pez 2021 so compared to eFootball it's going to be kind of fresher now we have dipped into the transfer window in january we are going to be bringing in shirky I will be asking you guys as well for a couple of decisions at the end of this episode as well. But we did accept that because he did come for quite cheap. Now, his transfer fee is only about 15 million, uh, which is very, very cheap. He's got a market value of 22 and a half million. We're not even going to have to worry about transfer market uh, budgets or anything like that because we've got unlimited funds, really. It just depends on who actually wants to come to us without having to hit the release clause. And I like that in PES 2021 in Master League. If we wanted to go out and buy Mbappe, we can do so, but it's going to cost us about 400 million to buy him. So that would be pretty much half our complete budget gone, like like overnight. Um, so it is going to be interesting to see uh, how I do adapt to that. My phone is ringing. Honestly, the biggest thing for me is the fact that like because I am playing eFootball 23 as well, and a lot of the time it is same, it is similar, but like the animations are slightly different. The gameplay is actually quite different as well. Uh, I do find that it's kind of hard to switch between both of them. So you'll see towards the end of this video, like in the first game or two, I'm struggling to create chances. But like the more games I play, uh, you know, I'm getting way more chances and in including a really good result at the end. And Fulham lads, <laughs> what a team Fulham are. I must say, right, and like the V4 option file lads is unreal. Like if you look, if you look at the table at the end of this video, they get an absolute joke of a goal here in a second. But if you look at the, the table at the end of this video, you'll see how realistic it actually is compared to real life at the moment in the Premier League. Terrible touch there. And they do get the luckiest of goals, lads, which has kind of summed up a lot of my... I was saying eFootball 23 is slightly different, but the way it's playing at the moment, I am conceding goals like that online in Dream Team as well. So it is kind of frustrating. But uh, yeah, I mean, V4, I think this is probably the best option file that I have played with in PES 2021 because there's so much detail put into the teams that like, you know, you have you have the guys that should be, uh, you have the teams that should be dominating, dominating and scoring lots of goals and conceding very few goals, like your cities, your Uniteds, your Arsenals, not saying United are dominating, but um, they play similarly to how they're playing in real life. Their positions are kind of linked up and synced up and lined up with where they are after like seven, eight games in the Premier League in real life compared to where they are seven or eight games in this Master League. So there is obviously going to be a couple of a couple of them that don't match up, but I should have shot there, but you'll see one of the issues with PES 21 is the player switching. It just took me completely off Richie there and it w would not let me shoot with him. It just would not let me shoot with him. So I'm still waiting for Isaac's breakthrough to come. He's been pulsating on his arrow there for the last couple of games, but... He hasn't had that massive breakthrough yet. So we are going to make a couple of changes. Now, we did get a couple of offers in as well. So Kieran Trippier, we're going to end the negotiations right there, as I call him, Chippier, because he's always putting those beautiful balls in. We also have Wood, who comes in with an offer of 5 million. Now, the reason that we are going to get rid of Wood is because he is not suiting our play style. I don't like playing with big 
you know, strong kind of target men defender or center forward lads. And also Almiron, he is going to be getting it as well because I just don't think that I'm going to be able to like play him on the right flank because we are going to be having a couple of different decisions to make. But we do need, I think, Sharkey putting him in AMF is a big solution there. But we need a DMF. We need a right midfield. We're going to play Isaac through the middle as he is playing in this game because I can't go back after Isaac played this game we just absolutely dominated Wolves in this game Wolves were very very poor we got off to a very lucky start it's a simple goal and I think that's what I need to do in PES 21 when I'm playing this Master League is just simplify my gameplay stop trying to walk it in just shoot on sight and take the easy option rather than trying to score you know beautiful goals or overthinking it or under hitting my passes or under shooting like I should just be shooting on sight like you'll see here I usually wouldn't shoot here like I would have taken a touch and it probably the chance would have been gone so yeah we are going to be restructuring the team we'll have a look at the table towards the end of this episode or the end of this video but um we do kind of need this beautiful play as well and Isaac gets his second of the day and I think yeah it, it is suiting me lads it is suiting me with playing a really fast mobile uh, kind of striker up front so what I will probably do is I'm going to buy a right winger or else a center forward or maybe somebody that can play in both positions um so I have a couple of names that I am thinking of like putting a bid in for a cheeky bid in for that'll probably be around like the 50 60 million mark that are realistic targets for Newcastle and then I'm going to get you guys to decide whether I should buy or not um as Chippy puts this in the back back of the net with a beautiful goal to give Zatrina a lead this is our biggest lead and the most goals we've scored in the Master League so far it's only took us what it's only taken us about seven or eight games but um Bubba Buddy is happy with that so yeah I do think that I am going to make a couple of changes we have our AMF sorted now with Sharky we are going to be buying a DMF I think um or a, or, or a CMF um, kind of like a box to box kind of like engine demon in the midfield and then I think I'm going to buy like a versatile winger slash um, striker that's a beautiful goal again absolutely ripped him apart and Shelby had all day on it so yeah I think somebody that can play right wing like Mbappe obviously would be the ultimate target but I'm not going to go and get Mbappe because it'd be a bit unrealistic um, for him to go to Newcastle no offence Newcastle fans um, but yeah the, the Wolves crowd Shelby's giving it large there to the Wolves crowd and uh, they don't look too happy but yeah so I am going to try and buy somebody that can interlink and then I think a left back as well so they're the three positions I'm not really worried about my centre back partnerships or my goalkeeper Trippier right back is fairly okay I think Bruno in midfield will do a job for me and then I think my three attacking options up front or my two attacking options up front of Isaac they get one back here in the 64th minute Isaac and Maximin are, are fine you know what I mean so I think improving my DMF or S CMF if I buy a DMF, I'll move Bruno into um, the CMF position to be able to play more of kind of like orchestrator role. They get the second goal back, so the comeback is on, but they don't have enough time, unfortunately, for Wolves. Um, and then obviously be able to buy like kind of like a top money man up front. Maybe get somebody that is able to play right wing, uh, maybe like Zaha or else through the middle. Somebody kind of like Sterling, somebody like that that can play in that advanced attack and roll and maybe move Izak out right wing or else keep, I think, Izak in uh, central and then have a right winger to play that 4 3 3 that I want to play. Kind of like, you know, DMF, CMF, AMF. And then obviously have my three uh, striking options, which is two wingers and then obviously one good kind of like ball dominant centre forward with that is fast and pacey. So I do have a couple of options that I am going to be looking at and I want you guys to let me know what you think I should do because I do need your advice. And I also need your advice on whether you would like to see me play some live stream games as well where we may be towards the tail end of the season. So we do actually get a 4-2 victory. We definitely badly needed that. Um, that's a huge win for us. It's a pity that we did lose to Fulham. We dominated Wolves there. And in fairness, like we just overran Wolves completely. Like They didn't stand a chance against us. Match day 8, 8 matches. So after 8 matches there, lads, you are seeing that we do climb up to ninth position after those eight matches united city chelsea arsenal liverpool as i said it looks fairly decent obviously leicester uh, compared to where they are in real life are really overperforming, and of course chelsea as well are scoring goals for fun their goal difference is crazy so that's a bit unrealistic obviously but i'm excited to see at the halfway point what way the table is shaping up because obviously i would be hoping to be in top six but the way i'm playing at the moment is not working so speaking of 
negotiations and people that I'm in for. You can see here that we have entered negotiations with Rafael Liao, who is an absolute beast, and they have actually said that they are willing to let him go. So that is what we have actually been able to go for, and Declan Rice as well. So 30 million for Liao, 70 million for Rice, that's what they're looking for. Money isn't an issue, you know, here. So it's not a massive, massive issue. Um, we are going to be re renegotiating here to see how much we could actually get Rice for. Um, but I think 73 million is probably more than enough. You know, like we we don't really need to worry about the transfer budget too much because as I said, we do have bags and bags and bags of cash. Um, but I do think that Declan Rice is going to be a massive addition for us. And I think you guys would probably prefer, like really like me uh, to play with him as well because he is going to be a beast and he's going to be for the future. Same with Liao. So let me know on those two guys, lads. And uh, yeah, for the next episode, we will try and finalize those. They won't be coming until January, but it would be a nice addition to the team to get those two boys in with Sharky. You know, we're reducing the squad age and we're getting three absolute beasts that can develop into legends for the club. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'll be back with episode four quite soon. Don't forget to check out my NBA series. Don't forget to check out my Dream Team series on eFootball23. And don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying any of this content and check out the v4 option file on eFootballUniverse or PezUniverse.com. I'll be back quite soon. Peace.